Introduction Tables are used to represent a given data in the form of rows and columns. It is very useful in organizing and representing the data in an effective way. For example, if a shopkeeper wants to maintain the detailed list of the dresses available in his shop, a table will be a better option. A sample table is given below. A row is the horizontal series of cells in a table. A column is the vertical series of cells. The intersection of a row and a column makes a rectangular box called a cell. Inserting a table There are three ways by which a table can be inserted in MS Word. Place the typing cursor in the document where you want to insert the table and do the following. Method 1. Using the grid option. On the Insert tab in Tables group, Click on the table button. A drop-down menu appears. Hover the mouse over the grid to select the range and click on the last box of the selected range. Or click and drag the mouse pointer to select the range, number of columns and rows. For example, 4 into 3, 4 columns and 3 rows. The table gets inserted in the document. Note. Using the grid option, you can insert a table of maximum 10 columns and 8 rows. Method 2. Using Insert Table dialog box. On the Insert tab in Tables group, click on the Table button. Click on the Insert Table option from the drop-down list. The Insert Table dialog box appears. Insert the number of columns and rows in Insert Table dialog box. Click on the OK button. The table gets inserted in the document. Method 3. Drawing a table. On the Insert tab in Tables group, click on Table button. Click on the Draw Table option from the drop-down list. The cursor changes into Pencil tool. Click and drag the cursor diagonally to draw the boundary of the table. Now, draw the columns and rows inside the boundary one by one. Note. When a table is drawn or selected, a set of table tools containing two tabs design and layout appear on the ribbon. As the name suggests, these tools contain the predefined sets of table designs and layouts. Moving a table. The steps to move a table from one location to other are hover the mouse over the table and put the mouse cursor on move handle. Click and drag the mouse to move the table to new location. Release the mouse button. Adding rows and columns. Once a table is created, additional rows and columns can be added. Place the cursor in a cell where after, before or left or right you want to add a row or column. For example, in previous topic, a table is created having two columns in it. Same table is being used here for the reference. Adding rows, the steps to add a row above or below the current row are Click in the cell, example, cell containing mono act. Click on the layout tab. In rows and column group, click on the insert above to insert a new row above the current row. Or, click on the insert below to insert a new row below the current row. Adding columns. The steps to add a column to left or right of the current column are, click in the cell, example, cell containing mono act. Click on the layout tab. In rows and column group, click on the insert left to insert new column on the left of the current column. Or, click on the insert right to insert new column on the right of the current column. Note, new rows and columns can also be added by context menu by right-clicking on the cell. Deleting rows and columns. After creating a table, unwanted rows and columns can be deleted. The steps to delete a row or column are Click in any cell of the row or column that you want to delete. Click on the Layout tab. In Rows and Columns group, click on Delete button. A drop-down list appears. Click on the Delete Columns option to delete the entire column or click on the Delete Rows option to delete the entire row. Note, 
click on delete table option to delete the entire table merging cells merging cells means combining two or more cells into one cell the steps to merge the cells are select the cells that you want to merge click on the layout tab in the merge group click on the merge cells button splitting cells dividing a single cell into multiple cells is called cell splitting the steps to split a cell into two or more cells are click in the cell that you want to split click on the layout tab in the merge group click on the split cells button the split cells dialog box appears enter the number of columns and rows into which you want to split the selected cell click on ok button cell alignment cell alignment is basically the text alignment in a cell of a table as you know that alignment refers to setting the direction of the text in a table there are nine options of cell alignment the steps to apply cell alignment on the table cells are select the cell or cells in which you want to change the cell alignment click on the layout tab in the alignment group click on the required alignment note by default cell alignment is top left in table cell table designs ms word provides a set of predefined table designs that includes borders colors cell alignments etc the steps to apply a design on a table are click on the any cell in the table click on the design tab click on the drop down arrow of table styles a list of table design appears hover the mouse on the designs to select the design click on the desired design